This is the last in-text question in your textbook related to the chapter solutions. Uh, calculate the osmotic pressure in Pascal Pascals uh, exerted by a solution prepared by dissolving one gram of polymer of molar mass one eight five zero 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 one six. 1,85,000 and I know I counted it backwards in 450 ml of water and that's normal to add 37 Celsius. Okay, so we've been given uh, the following things. Let's write it down. So we've been given the um, mass of the particular polymer. So I'm just going to call it mass of polymer is 1.0 grams. We've been given molar mass of polymer equals to 1,85,000. Um, and we're going to obviously assume this is in grams per mole since it's molar mass. Um, and then we've been given the volume of water which is equal to 450 ml um, we've also been given the temperature is equal to 37 degrees celsius so that will be 37 plus 273.15 that will give us the value in kelvin and we like that too so 310.15 and I know these jokes. Okay, so we need to calculate the um, osmotic pressure in Pascal. So we have pi equals to CRT. This is from the equation in the um, your textbook related to the osmotic pressure as a colligative property. Now we know C can be written as N, that is the number of moles divided by the volume. That's the well, this gives us the concentration. Um, so you can just say N divided by V into R into T. Now we have the value of uh, uh, T. We just calculated it. The value of R or our gas constant is going to be equal to 8 point. And since they want it in pa Pascal, we need to use the one which has the uh, we need to use the one which has the, the unit Pascal in it. So 8.314 um, into 10 to the power 3 Pascal liters per Kelvin per mole. Okay, so this is the value of R. Now if you notice, uh, the volume is in liters in this case, so we need to convert the volume of water from milliliters to liters, so that will be 450 divided by 1000, um, and that is going to give us 0 0.450 liters. Okay, so we have the volume, okay, we have R, we have T, we need to calculate the value of N. So N of the polymer or the number of moles is going to be mass divided by molar mass. So that is 1 gram divided by um, 18500 grams per mole. Okay, so what we'll do is we're just going to be substituting this in this equation. I'm just going to just substitute this as N and then let's go from there. Okay, so pi will be equal to N, 1 gram, divided by 18500 grams per mole. <laughs> I just missed a zero. I think I missed it here. 18500 grams per mole into 1 by V, right? So I'll just put RT by V. Okay, so into R is 8.314 uh, into 10 to the power 3 Pascal liters per Kelvin per mole. Let me scroll. 
a little bit to that side um, and then into temperature that is 310.15 Kelvin okay um, and then this heating is going to be divided by um, the volume that is 0 0.4 five zero liters let's start with the easiest one the units obviously uh, we should be left with just pascal so per mole per mole gets cancelled liter per liter gets cancelled kelvin per kelvin then kelvin gets cancelled so you're left with just the units of pressure which is pascal so that's just the only thing left which is good um so when we simplify the numerator we are going to get two five two thousand 578.587 into 10 to the power 3 Pascal all divided by 8,200, no, 83,250. Now, this one further simplification gives us 0 0.030. 97 into 10 to the power 3 pascal which is 30.97 pascal so basically for this question what we use is the equation pi equals to crt right um i cannot find the scroll scrolling thing okay. oh oh god um so Essentially, what we did was we calculated the mass of the polymer. Right. Uh, sorry, we were given the mass of the polymer. We were also given the molar mass. And then using, uh, and then we were given the volume and the temperature. We first converted the temperature from Celsius to Kelvin. Uh, we then uh, used the formula pi equals to CRT. And C, if it's a concentration, can be given by number of moles divided by, divided by the volume. So, we use that and R needs to be considered with the units Pascal. So because of that, we had R equals to 8.314 into 10 to the power 3 Pascal liter per Kelvin per mole. Then we calculated the uh, molar number of moles of the polymer by mass by molar mass by using the mass formula mass divided by molar mass and then substituted all of that into the equation pi equals to n divided by V into RT and then we just basically substituted that because you'd rather do all the calculations at one place and then we are left with the value of uh, the osmotic pressure as 30.97 pascal with that we're done with all the in-text questions i still i might be posting the video i mean i might start working on the exercise problems from the next video